the farmers in California will pay a certain amount for a beehive to rent a beehive based on its strength. And the strength really just is how many bees are in the hive, right? So um, historically, you have to crack open the hive um, and a, a, like expert beekeeper will look at it and be like, this is the strength of the hive. And it's ranked in number of frames from zero to whatever the total number of frames in the hive are. Anyway. Wait, um, so frames, like a frame is like one of those panes that has like... Exactly, bees on it. Yeah, and there's yeah. like a certain number in a hive there's different sizes, so it kind of varies. But but it doesn't matter how many bees are on a frame. You just rank it in terms of frames? Exactly. But the, huh. the, the frames are ranked as, like, number of frames based on the number of bees on each frame average, right? And that's something I don't understand personally as well because I'm not a beekeeper, right? Yeah. But I, I, I'm not a beekeeper either. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, an, an awkward science that's subjective, right? But, but more importantly, when you open the hives, especially in the winter, which is right before almond season which is the biggest pollination season anyway it disrupts the hives kills the bees the hives can collapse entirely and die out so you want to do this non-invasively if possible yeah makes sense so that's why you know we did and another company actually does this still right now but but we were developing technology to take an external infrared picture of the hive and say and then you know we could go take a bunch of pictures run it through like our machine learning software it spits out a a, a list saying like these are all of the strengths of your hive And that people will pay for that because the farmers want to verify like, okay, I paid for this hive strength for my pollination because higher the strength, the better pollination they get. They want to say or verify that they got that strength that they paid for. 